COVID-19 pandemic continues to impact global health, affecting millions of lives across the world. From the initial outbreak to the present day, the virus has shown its resilience and adaptability. While life has returned to a semblance of normalcy in many places, the virus remains a persistent threat, circulating within communities and causing periodic outbreaks. The sight of people wearing masks and the presence of health protocols remind us that the pandemic is not yet over. The virus's ability to mutate presents an ongoing challenge, with new variants emerging that can potentially evade immunity and spread more easily. This constant evolution of the virus underscores the importance of continuous research and monitoring. We must remain vigilant and informed, ready to adapt to the evolving nature of this crisis. Public health officials and communities must work together to disseminate accurate information and implement effective measures to control the spread of the virus. Despite significant progress in vaccination and treatments, new variants continue to emerge, posing fresh challenges to our healthcare systems. Vaccination efforts must be sustained and adapted to address these new threats. The virus's capacity for rapid mutation underscores the need for ongoing surveillance and adaptation of public health strategies. Continuous monitoring and quick response to new variants are crucial to prevent large-scale outbreaks. The global impact of the pandemic has been profound, affecting not only physical health but also economies, social structures and mental well-being. Businesses have closed, jobs have been lost, and the way we interact with each other has fundamentally changed. The need for international cooperation and equitable access to resources remains paramount. Sharing knowledge, resources and vaccines is essential to ensure that all countries can effectively combat the virus and protect their populations. Preparedness for future pandemics is crucial, and we must learn from COVID-19 to strengthen our response to emerging health threats. Investing in healthcare infrastructure, research and global collaboration will be key to mitigating the impact of future pandemics and ensuring a healthier world for all. The emergence of new variants of SARS-CoV-2 is a significant concern. These variants are not just random changes, they can have profound impacts on how the virus spreads and affects populations. These variants can exhibit increased transmissibility, altered severity, and reduced vaccine efficacy. This means that a variant can spread more easily from person to person, potentially cause more severe illness, and evade the protection offered by current vaccines. Continuous monitoring and analysis of these variants are crucial for adapting public health strategies. Scientists and health officials must stay vigilant, constantly updating their knowledge and approaches to keep up with the evolving virus. Variants like Delta and Omicron have demonstrated the ability to spread rapidly and cause surges. These surges can overwhelm healthcare systems, leading to increased hospitalizations and strain on medical resources. Maintaining public health measures, including masking, social distancing and vaccination, is essential. These measures help reduce transmission and protect vulnerable populations, buying time for scientists to develop more effective treatments and vaccines. The dynamic nature of the virus requires a flexible approach to pandemic management. Strategies must be adaptable, taking into account new data and emerging trends to effectively combat the virus. Understanding viral mutation mechanisms is crucial for predicting new variants and developing countermeasures. By studying how the virus changes, researchers can anticipate potential threats and create targeted interventions. Global collaboration is vital in tracking and containing the spread of new variants. Sharing data and resources across borders ensures a coordinated response, enhancing our ability to manage and eventually overcome the pandemic. COVID-19 symptoms vary widely, from asymptomatic to severe illness. Common symptoms include fever, which is often one of the first signs of infection. Monitoring body temperature regularly can help in early detection. Cough is another prevalent symptom, often accompanied by shortness of breath. This can range from mild discomfort to severe respiratory distress requiring medical intervention. Fatigue is also common, leaving patients feeling drained and unable to perform daily activities. Loss of taste or smell is a distinctive symptom of COVID-19, often occurring suddenly. This can affect appetite and overall nutrition, making recovery more challenging. Healthcare providers may conduct specific tests to confirm these sensory losses. Not everyone will experience all symptoms, and some may be asymptomatic carriers. This means they can spread the virus without knowing they are infected, making it crucial to follow public health guidelines even if you feel well. Recognizing the range of symptoms is crucial for early detection and isolation. 
early intervention can prevent the spread of the virus and improve outcomes for those infected. Keeping track of symptoms and seeking medical advice promptly can make a significant difference. Severity can vary significantly, influenced by age, underlying health conditions, and vaccination status. Older adults and those with pre-existing conditions are at higher risk for severe illness. Vaccination has been shown to reduce the severity of symptoms and prevent complications. COVID-19 can affect other organ systems, including cardiovascular and neurological. Complications such as myocarditis, stroke, and encephalitis have been reported. Regular monitoring and comprehensive care are essential for managing these potential issues. Long COVID can persist for weeks or months with symptoms like fatigue and brain fog. These lingering effects can impact quality of life and daily functioning. Ongoing medical support and rehabilitation may be necessary for recovery. Early detection and prompt medical attention are crucial for managing COVID-19. Regular testing and monitoring of vital signs can help in timely intervention. Discussing treatment options with healthcare providers ensures a tailored approach to care. Following public health guidelines such as wearing masks and getting vaccinated helps protect against infection. These measures are essential in reducing transmission and safeguarding community health. Staying informed and adhering to recommendations can make a significant impact. COVID-19 is caused by the SARS-CoV-2 virus, a novel coronavirus. The virus spreads through respiratory droplets from an infected person. SARS-CoV-2 binds to the ACE2 receptor on human cells to gain entry. Once inside, the virus hijacks cellular machinery to replicate. The inflammatory response triggered by the immune system can contribute to illness severity. Understanding the virus's mechanisms is crucial for developing antiviral therapies. Scientists are working on drugs to block the virus from binding to ACE2 and inhibit replication. Ongoing research into the virus's life cycle is essential for targeted treatments. Monitoring mutations is crucial for developing updated vaccines and treatments. Significant advancements have been made in COVID-19 testing and diagnostics. PCR tests detect viral RNA but can be time-consuming. Rapid antigen tests provide faster results though less sensitive than PCR. At-home rapid antigen tests have revolutionized testing, making it more accessible. These tests empower individuals to take control of their health. Serology tests detect antibodies from past infections, informing public health strategies. Researchers are exploring new methods like breath tests and wearable sensors. Innovative diagnostic tools enhance our ability to track the virus and monitor responses. Ongoing development of new diagnostic tools is crucial for managing the pandemic. Vaccination remains the most effective tool against COVID-19. Vaccines prevent severe illness, hospitalization, and death. Widespread vaccination is crucial for achieving herd immunity. Booster shots maintain immunity, especially as new variants emerge. Boosters are important for older adults and those with weakened immune systems. Staying up to date with boosters is crucial for optimal protection. Breakthrough infections can occur but are typically less severe. Vaccinated individuals are less likely to transmit the virus. Continued research and development are essential for adapting vaccines to new variants. Long COVID, or post-acute sequelae of SARS-CoV-2 infection, is a growing concern. Persistent symptoms can last for weeks or months after the initial infection. Common symptoms include fatigue, brain fog, and shortness of breath. The underlying mechanisms of long COVID are still being researched. Potential factors include persistent viral presence and autoimmune responses. The long-term consequences of long COVID are unknown. Comprehensive care and support for individuals with long COVID are essential. Clinical trials are evaluating potential therapies for long COVID. Addressing long COVID requires a multidisciplinary approach. Public health measures are essential for mitigating COVID-19 spread. These include masking, social distancing, hand hygiene, and ventilation. Wearing masks in public indoor settings reduces transmission. Physical distancing limits the spread of respiratory droplets. Frequent hand washing removes the virus from hands. Improving ventilation reduces airborne viral particles. Testing and contact tracing are crucial for controlling the spread. Isolation and quarantine prevent further transmission. Clear public health communication builds trust and encourages compliance. Research and development are crucial in combating COVID-19. Scientists are developing new vaccines, treatments, and diagnostic tools. 
Understanding the virus's biology and interaction with the human body is key. New antiviral drugs and next-generation vaccines are high priorities. Research focuses on vaccines that protect against emerging variants. Long COVID research aims to develop effective treatments. Social and behavioral scientists study the pandemic's broader impact. Interdisciplinary collaboration addresses the multifaceted challenges. Continued investment in research is essential for staying ahead of the virus.